Hi, can you hear me better? Yeah, that's going to be better. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, um, uh, my name is James Van Gelder, and uh, I own a small publishing company. Um, we basically just publish um, books on uh, healing and uh, just a lot of alternative um, theory and medicine. And, um, and yeah, so you had uh, uh, Sensei Tadashi Yukonzawa visit your uh, alpaca ranch, um, I believe, two years ago, maybe, uh, a few years ago, with uh, the History Channel. Right, um, that's correct. Yeah, it's probably uh, three or four years ago, but yes, he was here. Okay. Um, yeah, with the History Channel. Um, and and uh, so Tadashi Kanzawa travels the world, um, basically, uh, and is famous for putting animals to sleep. And he visited your uh, alpaca ranch and um, put your uh, alpacas um, to sleep o over the History Channel video. Um, and I just wanted to uh, get some background and ask you about um, the experience you had with him and um, just uh, overall, um, like, mm -hmm. yeah. how they set things up. And um, But, yeah, uh, just to get uh, a little intro on you, you, you've owned the ranch for about 15 years, uh, I saw on your website, um, is that right? Right, I got my first alpacas in 2002. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I've had them for, I'm, I'm one of the, the um, earliest uh, alpaca owners in California. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and so you've been around them for a very long time, and... Uh, and I read on your website that you um, you know every little quirk and habit of the alpacas from living with them. <laughs> for so well, long. yes, uh, I, I'm not claiming 100%, but I know them quite a bit. Awesome. So, um, did the History Channel just reach out to you and say that they wanted to um, basically use your ranch? Yes, they uh, contact me, contacted me by email <clears throat> maybe a uh, few months before and um, and wanted to um, see if uh, I would be willing to have them film um, a segment with my alpacas and um, and Mr. Kanzawa. Awesome. And, uh, and I agreed. I thought that would be really interesting. Um, I really had no no thoughts on uh, well or, or really knowledge of what was going to happen um didn't know mr kanzawa at all um and very little about uh, his uh, so called uh, well healing yeah um so they came and started uh filming um uh, Ranch, can you tell me about uh, how they set have set up the whole process um, and what happened when they arrived? Uh, just to give um, a little bit of background, I guess. Okay. Um, well, they had um, probably three or maybe four different cameras set up uh, um, in the alpaca uh, enclosures. And as well as a camera on on top, sort of filming more of what he was doing. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, they arrived, and um, and uh, by the way, he was saying that um, everybody has this ability to um, to to um, use this what he called chi, and. Um, he uh, <clears throat> tried to demonstrate a little bit, and I tried to uh, to uh, do what he was saying. I I did not feel anything different, <laughs> but uh, um, he was um, uh, assuring me that everybody had the ability, but they needed obviously teaching um, what to do. Was so, you know, I, I had an open mind, but uh, really. Um, one way or the other, uh, I, I was going to see what was happening. 
Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, can he speak English, or was there a translator? <clears throat> no, he had a translator. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm translating his books right now, and uh, he does also claim the same uh, thing, that everyone has this ability to heal. And actually, when he's putting the animals to sleep, he's actually healing them, and because the animals relax when they're being healed, they're actually going to what he calls curio sleep, um, like healing sleep. Um, right. So he, he was, he, yeah, very interesting. He was sort of explaining a little bit <clears throat> that he was channeling or, or um, gathering power from basically earth and surroundings and and it's in his in his hands and then transmitting it to the animals is how how i understood what he was saying and um, I, I think that's pretty accurate yeah fascinating so when he um started when they started shooting the history channel when they started shooting um the scene and he started to try to do the healing and put the animals to sleep. Did it take a lot of uh, takes? Like, did you guys have to stop and start over? Or how long did the the, the process go? Because when someone watches the YouTube video, the History Channel published, it looks like just right off the bat he started, and then like a little while later, you guys were done. Um, is that how it played out? Or was, was it a little more like... Um, take shots and start. Well, I mean, it, it obviously was a little bit longer, but as I said, he had they had they had at least three or four cameras set up that was constantly filming. So, <clears throat> so yes, I mean, obviously it did, and I I really can't remember how long it actually took, um, but it was obviously longer than the final product uh, as it was. Um, released because they can cut and you know they, they're going to edit the the film um but it did not take that long i mean basically it was it was unusual for me to see 